It traveled safely across Canada, Germany, and the Netherlands, but the robot dubbed Hitchbot met its demise over the weekend in Philadelphia. Hitchbot was an experiment conceived by a research team in Canada as a way to study how humans and robots interact. Hitchbot had an onboard GPS, speech recognition, and language modeling technology that allowed simple communications with humans. My name is Hitchbot. You will have to pick me up. But it depended entirely on the kindness of strangers to take it from place to place and charge it at their homes. Hitchbot began its hitchhiking adventure across the U.S. in Boston, but only two weeks later the little globetrotting robot was reportedly vandalized and destroyed during the early morning hours on Saturday in Philadelphia's Old City. When Hitchbot fans found the destroyed robot, its head and arms were torn off and it was stripped off all its electronics according to posts on social media. Nobody knows what exactly happened during the robot's last moments, but Hitchbot was probably waiting for its next ride when it fell into the wrong hands, its creators in Canada say. Well, at first we were, we were shocked, um, stunned really, and I, I guess the uh, various stages of, of grieving, right? So, you know, shock, disbelief, you know, uh, sadness. And then we started to uh, also then, you know, have feelings about our, our research team. We have um, teams of, of eight students each, and uh, these students have been working uh, sometimes for two years uh, on this project, so hundreds of hours. And uh, so to see all of that hard work suddenly, you know, um, snuffed out uh, was very difficult. The researchers believe Hitchbot is beyond repair. Its remains are now being sent back to Canada. Even though it was most likely attacked by humans, Hitchbot's creators say the overwhelming support it received from people during its two-year journey show that the interaction between robots and humans can be very positive and even playful. They say they were touched by the outcry of people on social media after the attack. It's been very interesting. So um, a lot of sadness. Some people were angry. Um, some people just couldn't believe it. Um, quite a few said, I've never heard of it before, but now that I heard it, you know, it's terrible. How could this happen? And they, they also, they want to, you know, they want, of course, they want Hitchcock to come back. The researchers say they don't plan to track down the attackers or press any charges. They want to remember the good times with Hitchbot instead. Its life was shorter than they hoped, but the experiment isn't over. They're looking into rebuilding Hitchbot and sending it back to Philadelphia to continue its journey or to create a new Hitchbot for school children that travels from school to school.